نحمد ونسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فقط قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی کما ورد فی صورت النحل اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اتامر اللہ فلا تستعجلوه سبحانه و تعالی عما یشرکون ينزل الملائكة بالروح من أمره على من يشاء من عباده أن أنزروا أنه لا إله إلا أنا فاتقون صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ربنا آنس وحشتنا في قبورنا وارحمنا بالقرآن العظيم اللهم اجعله لنا اماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آنا الليل وآنا النهار وَجْعَلْهُ لَنَا حُجَّةً يَا رَبَّ الْعَالَمِينَ آمین Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters of Islam السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ Today actually we are starting in the right earnest summer program of this Dora of a completion of the translation and brief explanation of the Qur'an. And we are now at Surah Al-Nahl. I've told you that there are seven groups of surahs in Qur'an, each having one or more Makki surahs in the beginning and then one or more Madani surahs. This is the third group, the Makki surahs of the third group. It started with Surah Al-Yunus, and this Bakki part of this group will end at Surah Al-Mu'minun in the 18th part. I have also told you that these 14 surahs are subdivided into three subgroups, rather four subgroups. First of the subgroup, Surah Al-Yunus, Surah Al-Hud, Surah Al-Yusuf, alayhim salatu wassalam. Incidentally, all the three surahs are named after the names of prophets of Allah, alayhim salam. Out of these three, Surah Yunus, Surah Hud, they are a pair. But Surah Yusuf is a unique surah. And it has no pair, at least in the near neighborhood. Then the second pair, Surah Ra'd, Surah Ibrahim, a pair. But Surah Al-Hijr, again a unique and solitary surah. The third group is, it consists of three a bit larger surahs, Surah Al-Raad, Surah Al-Ibrahim, Surah Al-Hijr, but smaller surahs. But here we have again a bit larger surahs, and largest of them is Surah Al-Nahl, having 16 sections and 128 ayat. Then the pair is Surah Al-Isra or Bani Israel as we call it, and Surah Al-Kahf, they are a pair. But this surah is unique and isolatory. Now this surah is the most profound and most comprehensive surah of the Quran regarding at tazkir be ala illah to awaken in the human beings a consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by referring to the bounties of Allah, the blessings of Allah the marvelousness of his creation, the wonderfulness of his creation, the beautifulness of his creation, the purposefulness of his creation, and the grandeur of his creation. This is the meaning of the word Allah. As most of you must be remembering, this word appears in Surah Ar-Rahman 31 times. Which of the bounties and which of the creatory marvels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
will you deny او جنس اینڈ او ہیومنس تو آلہ تسکیر بے آلہ اللہ یو ول فائنڈ یو نو آل ایسپیکٹس آف کریشن آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دے ہیو بین مینشن ہیئر آل دی بلیسنگس اینڈ باؤنٹیز دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز گیون ٹو ہیومن بینگس ناؤ وی بگن ود اٹ عطا امر اللہ فلاح تستا جلو دی امر آف اللہ ہیز ارائڈ But you don't hasten for it. I have kept the word Amr. It's a very profound word of Arabic language as well as a very profound term of Quran, Amr. It is used in many means, in many senses. And the most important is that Quran tells us there are two worlds intermingled with each other, the world of Khalq and the world of Amr. عالم الخلق عالم الامر عالم الخلق is this material world here things are created but their creation takes time Allah created the heavens and earth in six days you know a, a, an infant in mother's womb take nine months to become a whole human being So in the world of creation, world of khalq, alam al-khalq, ala lahu al-khalq wal-amr, both these worlds belong to him. But here in alam al-khalq, it is the material world. And here whatever happens, it takes time. But in alam al-amr, the world of command, everything appears instantaneously. The time element doesn't occur at all. And you find in Quran repeated so many times, إِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا عَرَادَ شَيْئًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَقُولُ This is his Amr, the world of Amr. When he decides something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to create something, something to happen, only he has to say, be, and it becomes instantaneous, no time whatsoever. Now to Alam Amr, three things belong. Please note here, because in the second ayah also against this word is coming. The angels belong to Alam Amr. Therefore, Jibreel can travel from the seventh heaven to this world, earth, in no time. No time element. Because he belongs to Alam Amr. In the same way, human spirits Arwah, they also need no time to move. A roof can be here and the next moment, rather the same moment, it can be in the heavens. So these angels and the arwah, the human spirits, they belong to this world. And the communication between the two is also called Amr, which we call Wahi, Revelation. Because revelation actually, where he is a communication between an angel and the spirit of the messenger. The messenger does not hear the wahi through his ears. No. It goes directly to the heart, not through these ears, not at all. So actually, this communication between the angel Jibreel And the roof of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is also called Amr. So now here, Ata Amrullah falastastajaluh. Because this surah also belongs to the final days of the Prophet's stay at Makkah after the beginning of Wahi, nearly the 12th or the 11th year. Because the next surah we know for sure, Surah Bani Israel, it was revealed in the 11th year after the beginning of the Wahi, nearly. One and a half to two years before Hijrah. And this surah also belongs to the same time period. And the Prophet ﷺ had been calling people of Bakka to worship one Allah, one God, to believe in resurrection, to believe in Him, that He is the messenger of Allah. And now, because much time had passed, so now the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very near. Judgment to be passed regarding the Quraysh of Bakka. 
عطا امر اللہ فلا تستا جلوح دس فائنل ججمنٹ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی فار یو او پیپل آف مکہ ہیز ریچ یور ڈور اسٹیپ بٹ ڈونٹ یو ہیسن فار دیٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اف گیوز یو سم مور ٹائم اٹس اے بلیسنگ اٹس اے بلیس اویل اف اٹ فلا تستا جلوح سبحان ہو و تعالی عما یشرکون All glory belongs to him. All glory belongs to him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is exalted much high than those things which they are associating with him. Those things or those persons. Yunazzanul malaikata bin ruhi bin amrihi. Again, we find this word amr and ruh. He sends down the angels and angels are also ruh angel also belong to the alam amr ruhul amin ruhul quds angels are also ruh ruh human ruh is also ruh and wahi is also ruh yunazzalul malaikata bil ruh min amrihi he sends down the angels with the revelation from his amr ala may yasha bin ibadihi on whomsoever he wills from among his bondsmen and servants he has chosen muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is his prerogative he is free to decide wallahu alam hu hasa yajalu risalata allah better knows where he should place his messengership whom should he select to make him a messenger and he has said this send this wahi to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam an anziru annahu la ilaha illa ana fattaqun and the message to all the messengers of allah has been warn people that there is no god except me so you should fear me you should have regard for me tawhid khalaqa samawati wal ardh bil haqq he created the heavens and the earth with the truth what does it mean with a purpose this creation is a purposeful creation there is nothing in this universe which has no purpose everything has a purpose even a blade of grass has a purpose it is serving a purpose in the grand scheme of creation khalaqa samawati wal ardh bil haqq ta'ala amma yushrikun he is exalted and high from those things whom he they are associating with him declaring to be partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khalaq al insana min nutfatin fa iza huwa khasibun mubin he created human human being from a sperm drop now this is something which everybody agrees knows what is the origin of human beings the sperm drop he created human beings from sperm drop but faiza huwa khasimu mubin but then he becomes you know a disputer he is arguing with his lord he is arguing against allah so this is his position he should recall from which thing he was created what was his beginning does he have the face to argue with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khasimu mubin 